In this video, I'm going to show you different ways to visualize a magnetic field. So as we can see, I have a Gauss meter on the left here, a device with several magnetized needles, iron particles which are magnetized, magnetic viewing film which is at the micrometer scale, ferrofluid which is at the nanometer scale, and finally I have the ultimate ferro cell which is ferrofluid sandwiched in between two pieces of glass. So this is a Gauss meter and it's pretty straightforward. It just measures a magnetic field strength. You can get different grades, but for the most part, they are not really that accurate because you have to rely on eye hand coordination. And they do break easily if you take them apart and meddle around with the sensor at the end. This next device here is a bunch of magnetized needles and basically they will kind of show you the magnetic outlines of a magnet, but keep in mind that this is only happening two-dimensionally. And as we can see, the needles are aligning with the north and south poles of the magnet. The next magnet here is a polymagnet, and this can have north and south poles on the same face. They're very interesting magnets, but as you can see, the magnetic field lines are very localized, so they do not extend much further than the magnet itself. The next visual involves iron filings and it basically just shows the magnetic field lines and it also could leave a very big mess. And here is the poly magnet once again and as we can see the field is very localized but it's very strong. This is one of my most interesting magnetic viewers and basically it's iron particles suspended in water but there is a hollow tube in the middle so you can insert a magnet and visualize three dimensionally what's going on. But unfortunately, it does have a size limitation. The next thing I will show you here is magnetic viewing film. It's really cheap. You can get it for just a few dollars. And all it is is a translucent sheet coated with micro capsules containing nickel plates suspended in oil. So it's kind of like ferrofluid, but not quite. Once again, here's the polymagnet. And as we can see, it's very localized, but it's also very strong. The next messy experiment here involves ferrofluid and ferrofluid is basically composed of magnetized nanoparticles but keep in mind this is like engine oil and it leaves a really big mess anyways i made a huge mistake here and i forgot about surface tension so as soon as i poured the ferrofluid on the magnets they actually slid towards one of another and i ended up with a big mess on my tabletop so I have done this experiment many times with superconductors in the past, but unfortunately I could not get liquid nitrogen right now because of the COVID-19 stuff. But I have discovered some pretty fascinating things that I will show you in the future. The final device I will show you here is the ferro cell, and it utilizes super paramagnetic properties of nanomagnetite. So it reacts with a magnetic field to create a highly refractive view in 3D. And basically it's ferro fluid sandwiched in between two optically flat glass. But this space between the glass is at the micron level. So it's very thin and the ferro fluid almost acts like a gas. Now this is where the magic happens. And this is the same polymagnet which I showed before. But as we can see, it looks nothing like the other visualizations. And it almost dynamically gives the illusion that it's moving somehow. This only happens with particular polymagnets, so it was a pretty fascinating discovery. Anyways, I hope that was interesting to see magnets under different visualizations. And as a conclusion, I'm going to show you the same magnet under different visuals.